Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP and the game preview for March 30th, 2024 in the inaugural game for Nerd Cave 2. So it's finally done. After more than a month off of building this thing and getting it ready, it's done. And I'm super excited about it. Uh, we've really missed playing and I think this is going to be a great place to game. Did some upgrades to the lighting, a lot of cool new stuff. So um, yeah, so we're excited. So I thought what we would do is we would break out the first two armies we ever played in the very first video we ever did, Germans versus uh, Americans in Normandy. It's kind of a throwback to that um, to kick it all off. So we're going to be playing the Nuts mission from Bolt Action Alliance. is one of our favorite missions of all time. It's five objectives, one in the center. We take turns placing the other four. And then there's a six-inch deployment zone on each long table edge. We roll off, and then we deploy half of our units in our deployment zone. And the objective is simply to control the most objectives at the end of the game. So this object or this mission is very good for movement. It creates a lot of um, forced movement. There's not a lot of sitting around guarding objectives. You got to move and you got to fight to get these things. So great mission, great armies. We love playing these two. Like I said, these are the very first uh, armies that we ever built. And our very first game was using these two armies. So uh, with that, what we're going to do now is uh, take a look at those armies. All right, so first up we have the Germans. So this is uh, 1,062 points, 10 order dice. This is taken from the 1944 Normandy Selector. And everything in this list is regular. So starting off, we got our second lieutenant with man. They're going to be armed with assault rifles. Then we're going to have four here grenadier squads. Uh, very basic, so NCO with submachine gun, six rifles, and a medium machine gun. And each squad will also have a Panzerfaust. And next up, we're going to have one uh, medium machine gun, MG42 on tripod, one medium mortar with spotter. We also have a uh, 20 millimeter Flak 38, three man crew. We're bringing a, what is it, a motorcycle with machine gun sidecar just for the hell of it. Uh, those are pretty fun. Uh, they're actually pretty effective too. They got a, a medium machine gun on it, Recky. And last up, we're bringing one of the big cats, the uh, Panther. So this is a 370 point unit. Uh, it's got Tiger Fear. We'll see if we can remember that. All shots from the front count as 10, 10 plus armor. It's also got a super heavy anti-tank gun. Uh, coax mounted, or a coax MMG, a whole MMG, and it's been upgraded with the pinnel mounted MMG on top as well. So that's the German force. Uh, very basic, a lot of points tied up in the, uh, in the, in the Panther. But I wanted to kind of keep these lists small just for our first game in a while and, you know, the new the new digs and everything. So uh, a little bit smaller game. I mean, maybe not points wise, but dice wise, it's uh, a little bit smaller than we're used to. So anyway, that's the Germans. Let's uh, look at the Americans. So for the Americans, we're running the late war Ranger Company from the U.S. Sector's D-Day book. This is 1060 points, eight order dice. And I believe everything is veteran except the armored car. So starting off, we got the Ranger Captain. This is one of my favorite units. Skip the uh, Lieutenant tax, you go right to Captain. They always do super awesome in these games. So it's the Captain and three guys, so it's a four-man squad with the Captain, all armed with submachine guns. Uh, it's a pretty good unit, 168 points, so a little pricey, but um, always better than the Lieutenant. Then we're gonna have two Late War Ranger Assault sections. These are eight men. There's one NCO with a submachine gun. One guy with a BAR and then a light machine gun team. Five infantry with rifles, so two of those. We have a late war ranger special weapons section. This is six men, um, all armed with rifles, even the NCO. Uh, we also got um, three pistols in there for tough fighter purposes. And then we have a bazooka integrated into the squad. And we have another one of those late war ranger special we weapons sections. Uh, same layout except for it has a light mortar instead of a bazooka then we're rolling in with a ranger intelligence and operation section so this is the intelligence officer he's going to be equipped with an smg and there's going to be a uh, four guys with him and one of them's got a bazooka so two bazooka squads essentially one of them led by an intelligence officer and the intelligence officer is going to let uh the american player once per game at the beginning of any turn um, try to get the dice, the first dice out of the dice bag. So on a four plus, I believe, um, 
he gets the first die uh, regardless, or he gets to pick to go first. So pretty powerful. We've tried it before. I don't know if we've ever actually got the, uh, the roll for it, but it could be pretty cool if um, it comes down to that, hey, I need that first dice, and uh, you got a chance to get it. So pretty cool. Uh, other than that, all we're rolling in with his a, a sniper team and then the Greyhound uh, with the 50 cal on top. So eight order dice, small uh, small order dice, but a lot of infantry squads, veterans. Uh, they got rangers lead the way. There is a special rule, I think, that only half of them can um, do the rangers lead the way rule. It's called covered advance. I guess that's just so your whole army can't move. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the American force. So as far as the live stream goes, we're not quite there yet. We're gonna try it. We We'll try to do one. I'm having some lapel mic issues. I got to figure that out. Plus, I don't know exactly what time we're going to be playing. It's going to be later in the afternoon, um, but that time isn't set yet. So, uh, we if we can get the lapel mics working, we'll do it. I probably won't advertise it. It'll probably just pop up. So, if you have the, your notifications turned on, you might see a notification Saturday afternoon Pacific time uh, saying that we're doing a live stream of this game. So that's what I hope to do. Uh, but once we get back into a more regular schedule. We'll be starting to do our games at the normal time we were doing them before we moved to the new place, kind of late afternoon Saturday, which is a good time for people uh, in uh, GMT time. So anyway, that's it. We're super excited to play. It's been a long time. We can't wait to roll some dice, and uh, we'll see you guys later.